Hello YouTube, my name is Derek Jansen. I'm a programming student in the Video Game Master's Program at the Guildhall at Southern Methodist University. This tutorial is going to cover the basic class setup and collisions in UDK. Um, at the end of this video, we're, we will have a mod, a basic game mod, to eat other players and will grow and shrink based upon their health. There are some assumptions going into this video that you have done the previous setup video for UDK, and also that you're going to need some minor programming knowledge. As a disclaimer, this, this tutorial might be a little fast, but you can always pause and replay. Um, so leaving, leaving off from the previous uh, set, setup video, um, in the UDK engine, I and I, in the UDK, UDK game, con config, UDK engine, dot I and I, down in the Unreal Ed dot editor engine section, you need to have tutorial projects set up here. Also in the development source folder, you're gonna have to um, you'll have this this folder also here, and this should be set up from the last tutorial. Um, so. Moving on, we're going to be making the class here. You're going to go to um, the folder classes that you that you made and add a new item. And Unreal Script should be in here from the the infringe setup. And we're going to call it Muncher. Um, we're going to make it a game type. So you see deathmatch here. And make sure that the properties match that. Uh, so we're going to make it muncher here. And we're going to go ahead and test it to make sure it's running. It took a little longer than I thought it was going to. Um, so now we're going to be looking right here where it's going to say if it loaded the, the muncher class or not. And then if it does, if it did that, then we know it's everything set up and ready to go. Okay, so right there, game class is Muncher, so everything is set up right for that. So to to get this game mod to work, all we all we really need to do is modify the pawn's collision. So we need to make another class to extend the UT pawn. In order to get this to work, we need to have the muncher game type start off with the default pawn class to be that class. Oh, and um, I might add in default properties, there's no semicolon. And, um, this right here is a class literal. So that's all we need to do for that. And for the pawn, we'll start we'll start from the top with that. So 
like I said before, we want it to, um, whenever it collides with another player, we want it to, um, if they're, if they're the same health, then nothing is going to happen. And if one's bigger than the other, then it's going to eat the other guy. So, so we need some collision here. And we'll start with that, I guess. So, one thing about collision is it's kind of weird the way that they've done it. I think this guy named Chimeric, or Chimeric dot Beyond Unreal covered it very well. They they have three major collision functions, which was which is bump, touch, and untouch. Um, bump is called if it if it um this boolean here is set called b block actors or b block players if b collide actors is on then touch gets called however there's some weird stuff that he he says right here sometimes the engine will not call both touch and bump if both objects are b block players uh bump will be called so if they're, if they're both B block players, then bump will be called. So we need to override the bump function. And bump is an event. We have an actor. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try and cast this actor here to see if it will match the, our, our, our pawn type. So we're going to need a local variable here. And instead of um, null being the normal keyword, the key, uh, none is the keyword for null. And just to check that it's working, we're going to log out this touching. sure that the log is working for that and I'll see you in game. Okay, so we're in the game. So I'm just gonna go and run into somebody here. Oops. And make sure that the log file says touching. Oh, okay there it is. It's touching. So that's all we need from that. So if if we know that we are touching another uh, pawn here, then we want um, we're going to need to keep track of their size. So to keep track of a variable in a class, it needs to be a var, and inside of a inside of a function it needs to be local. And the class is var, and it function is local. So if size is greater than their size, then we want our health to be increased by some amount just to their health divided by 2. And we need to have them die. So we want them to take damage. 